Hi, Berth here with Sissy Boxer Training. What are we going to do today? Well, it's the old favourite, speedball. Now, a lot of trainers would turn around and say to you, I don't really see the merit in it. That's complete hogwash. What they really mean is they don't know how to do it and possibly don't know how to teach it. When you do speedball, you fire up motor neuron responses through your whole deltoid region. On top of that, the iron hand coordination you need is immense. However, saying all that, it is still a regimented exercise. I want you to think of this. You're on a ship. You're passing a rope over your shoulder. And to stop the rope from burning your shoulder, you have to keep going back to get it time and time and time again. That is fundamentally the starting point for learning how to do the speed ball. A lot of people focus on the ball, which moves really quickly, and they get drawn into a habit of trying to hit the ball instead of just continually moving the hands. Don't forget that this is an inanimate object. It's not trying to show you up, it's not trying to find you out. Let's think about that shape of pulling the shoulder, the rope over the shoulder, and then simply applying it to the speed ball. And going back to the rope time and time again. I'm applying a shape into the ball. I'm not looking at the ball, I don't have to concentrate on that. I do have to concentrate on recycling my hands and doing it in a rhythmic fashion. Once I'm comfortable, I can start speeding up. You don't he even have to look at the ball. What you do have to do is concentrate on regimented movement. Now as the weeks progress, we'll learn different systems of hitting the speed ball and how you can interact the speed ball with weight training systems. But don't rush to learn the skill set, because if you go fast, you'll just be doing it wrong quicker.